Pete's Electronics in Parnell Street and today I'm going to show you a Servio box, how to set it up and give you an example of the picture quality. Now I'm going to unpack this Servio decoder box and give you an example of what's inside. First of all we have our instructions. Secondly, this is the actual Servio box itself, so I'll explain, to that. explain that to you in a minute. The next thing is the HDMI cable. So if you have a LCD, HD TV, plasma, whatever, this is the cable you'll use. The next thing is the power supply that powers the box. And finally, I have the remote and a set of batteries, so we're complete. Now this is the back of the Servio box. Uh, on the right, you'll see the power supply connection. The next connection is your SCAR connection. So if you have an older style TV, uh, this box will work with that as well. The next connection is a USB. This is an interesting connection because this will allow you to, to record from the box, which is very, very handy. The next connection is HDMI, which is the lead I showed you earlier. And this will connect to HDV, HD TVs. This is sort of a connection we use in shop all the time. The next one is a optical digital connection. This is for digital sound from the box. So if you want to connect it to a surround sound system, this is the connection you do here as well. And finally, these are the aerial connections. It's the same aerial connection that is on your TV and the same uh, basically radio frequency style unit. Now this is your typical rabbit's ears type aerial. This is what we've been using to connect up our Tri-X boxes and it works quite well. It's the same aerial connection that we've been used for years. So I'll show you connecting that up to the box. So that just connects into the top here. Now, that's that one done. The next cable that I'll show you connecting up will be our HDMI cable. Uh, if you can use this cable at all, this is the best one you'll get because you'll get the full benefits of the better picture quality you'll get on Serbia. So I plug that in where it says HDMI. And finally, I will plug in the power adapter. So I have it here, and it's just on the right there, and it just slots in. Now what I'm showing you here is the back of a modern LCD TV. It's got a lot of connections on it, but the one we're using is HDMI. I've got two here, so I'll just put it into HDMI 1. And as easy as that. Now as you've seen, I've connected up my uh, Tri-X box, turned on my TV, and this is what you'll get. So it's all set up for the Irish market. So there's not much more to do, only have the batteries in my remote. So I just scroll down the screen until I get down to start search. So they can go and search for channels. And then I press enter. And away she goes. Now, as you see, it's on auto search. So the box itself will just go looking for all the stations. And hopefully when it gets up to around 70%, You'll see all the stations start to filter in. Uh, another thing you'll see, it also has radio stations. Our box is tuned in. As you can see, this is our picture quality on this TV. Uh, the station itself is RTE's Rolling News Channel, which is very good. Completely different uh, station than what they used to have. So whatever the latest news is would appear here. It'll give you the weather as well, and then go all the way back down to the, the start again. Right, the next thing I'm going to show you is the EPG, which means Electronic Program Guide. So I press the EPG button on the remote, like so. Now, this is the EPG. So, as you can see, the program we're on at the moment is highlighted, which is RT News Now. The name of the program, and you've got a timeline here, so I can see what programs are next. And this EPG basically goes on for about two weeks. I can select whatever TV station I want to watch. So if I wanted to go to RT1, I can select that, just by using the up and down arrows on the remote. And then I can go across by using the left and right arrows. And I can see all the programs that are ahead for the day. Where this will come into its own is, when I showed you earlier the USB connection, you'll be able to connect maybe a hard drive or a USB key up to this machine and record from the Servio box onto the hard drive. And you have a timer function here so you can time it. And that's what your EPG is. 
Now, the next great feature I want to show you, which you won't have on your old TV, is the digital teletext. So I'll press the text button. Just wait a few seconds. Now, unlike your old teletext, you can still be watching the program here on the right. And you have a list of menus here. So I can have the latest news, sport, entertainment, and so forth. So if I select news, now I select by pressing the arrow keys and the enter key. Okay, so we have our selection of news pro here. So I'll go down to Greece, as that's always interesting. And I select that. It only takes a few seconds to load the page in, unlike your old Teletext system. And you can see here all the information, the latest information on Greece, dates, times, whatever. There's four pages, so I can scroll down through the pages, so forth. Like this. And as you can see, if I want to go on to the next news item, I could just press the right button. And that goes on to the next one, and so forth. So that's your teletext. Now, I'm just back on the floor with our Serview connected up here. Um, I'd just like to say thanks for watching the video. Uh, the box itself is available online to buy from peats.com. Or you can, if you have any questions or queries on Serview, you can email us at shop at peats.com. I'd like to say thanks again. My name is Stephen, by the way, and goodbye.